Yo si Yuli a la quay, yo tiem si es Yole. Hello, his mate, yo galailu, si soy. And I'm here to teach you how to play Nico and the Niners, one of the two amazing new songs dropped just this week by 21 Pilots. So grab your 21 Pilots ukulele. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it is in tune, your uke should sound like this. Just in case you haven't heard the song yet, I'm going to play you through a quick snippet of it first to give you a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. One, two, three, four. East is up, I'm fearless when I hear this on the low. East is up, I'm fearless when I wear my rebel clothes. East is up. Bishops come together, they will know that Thema don't control us, Thema don't control, East is up. They wanna make you forget, they wanna make you forget. Save your razor blades now, not yet. Save your razor blades now, not yet. I'm heavy, my jumpsuit is unsteady. I'm lighter when I'm lower, I'm higher when Whoa, I'm so high, my jumpsuit takes me so high, I'm flying from a fire, from Nico and the Niners, whoa. These are the main chords that you'll need for the song, if you already know them, then skip ahead. Now, to play the chord of D minor in this song, most of the way through, we're going to be playing it as a bar chord. And for that, you're going to need to bar the fifth fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. If you need a bit of extra help with your bar chords, then check out my video on how to play bar chords here first, and then come back to this video. Once you've got your bar on the fifth fret, just add your third finger to the seventh fret of the fourth string. And the chord of D minor should sound like this. And to play the chord of A minor, put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A minor should sound like this. To play the chord of F, keep that A minor shape, but add your first finger to the first fret of the second string. And the chord of F should sound like this. Also, in the chorus, I play D minor a slightly different way by keeping that F shape, but adding my third finger to the second fret of the third string. And in the chorus, D minor will sound like this. And to play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. Now the main section of the song is basically just the D minor to A minor repeated like this. Now basically, all you're doing with your right hand is playing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up on each chord like this. Down, up, 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 down, up. But on every down, we're muting the chord so we get a little scrapey noise instead of the note like this. Scrape up, 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 scrape. Now basically, to do that muting technique, you have a number of options, and the right one is the one that works for you. What I like to do on the D minor is just lift my fingers ever so slightly off the fretboard, so they're still touching the strings, but they're not pushing down on the fretboard itself. That way, when you strum, it just mutes the strings, and they don't make a noise, so you get that nice scraping noise. So for the D minor, it'll sound like this. Scrape up, scrape up, scrape up, scrape up. For the A minor, it's not quite so easy to use that technique because you're only really pressing down on one of the strings. So even if you lift that string off the fretboard, you've still got those three open strings there making a noise. So for that, what I do is use my little finger to mute the strings. Again, I just rest them on top of the strings. I don't push down on the fretboard like this. I just rest them on the strings so I get that muted scraping noise like this. And then you can just lift that little finger up on the upstrokes like this. So basically, the main riff of the song, D minor to A minor, should sound like this. Do 
So practice playing that pattern again and again and again. First we start off nice and slow like this. One and two and three and four and 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 and then once you get the hang of it, you can just start playing it a little bit faster until you're playing it at full speed. When you can play that through six times, you've got your intro, and play it through four more times, and you've got the main riff section that's repeated throughout the song. East is up, I'm fearless when I hear this on the low. East is up, I'm careless when I wear my rebel clothes. East is up. When bishops come together, they will know that a demon don't control us, demon don't control. From there we go into verse 1, and the chords are still D minor to A minor repeated four times, but here we just do one downstroke on each of the chords so it's even easier. Just like this. East is up, they wanna make you forget. They wanna make you forget. Save your razor blades now, not yet. Save your razor blades now, not yet. And now we're already halfway through the song and that takes us into the chorus. Here, at least for the first time around, I carry on just playing downstrokes, either one or two downstrokes on each chord, depending on which sounds best for you. Basically, the chorus is made up of two lines. The first line, the chords are F to D minor to A minor. Then the next line, the chords are G to F to D minor to A minor to G. So put that all together and the first two lines of the chorus will sound like this. I'm heavy. My jumpsuit is unsteady I'm lighter when I'm lower I'm higher when I'm heavy Whoa! Then for the second half of the chorus, the chords are exactly the same, but here I start to strum just a nice, soft, gentle pattern. Something like down, 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 up on each chord like this. Down, 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 up, down. play that little D minor to A minor riff again twice. Then you repeat what we've already learnt so far with the East is up section. East is up. East is up. And then you repeat the chorus. I'm heavy. My jumpsuit is unsteady. I'm lighter when I'm lower. I'm higher when I'm heavy, whoa. If you need a song sheet, then you can find it somewhere on my Facebook page for free, or you can sign up to patreon.com slash youteacher and download a nicely formatted PDF song sheet right now. Then we move into the bridge section, and the chords for the bridge are just F to A minor to G, played through four times, one downstroke on each chord, like this. I'm heavy, jumpsuit is unsteady, Lighter when I'm lower, higher when I'm heavy, whoa. I'm so high, I'm so high, so high, I'm so high, fire, Nico and the Niners. And then it wouldn't be a 21 Pilot song without an awkward white boy rap. But don't worry, because even though the rap is a bit of a tongue twister, the chords are nice and straightforward. It's just A minor to D minor to F to G, and you can do a nice gentle strumming pattern if you like, or to help you mark time, just do one downstroke on each chord. What I say when I want to be enough, what a beautiful day for making a break for it. We'll find a way to pay for it, maybe from one who made razor blade saws, ran a race horse and force a sponsor, and start a concert to complete the version, start a mob and you can be quite certain we'll win, but not everyone will get out. No, no. We'll win, but not everyone will get out. No, no. We'll win, but not everyone will get out. And then to end, just keep repeating that main East is up section that we've been playing all the way through so far. East is up. I'm fearless when I hear this on the low. East is up. I'm careless when I wear my rebel clothes. Put it all together, and that's how to play Nico and the Niners by 21 Pilots. I'll be back again soon with some more great lessons and videos for you. In the meantime, let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas for future lessons, because I want to know what you guys want to learn. Until next time, I love you all, and I wish you the best.